This does come from Breitbart, so this, there's definitely a conservative slant here, but if the facts that are reported here are accurate, then... I'll tell you what, I go bright bar all the time. Good news organization, TJ, you better find a apologize S- for nothing. SNL comedian Namesh Patel kicked off Columbia University stage by offended students. So obviously a, a very editorialized headline, but let's, let's read on. All right, well, Saturday Night Live writer and comedian Namesh Patel was kicked off stage by Columbia University students on Friday night halfway through his performance because students found his <laughs> jokes offensive. Patel's comedy skit was cut short after the students who organized the event interrupted him and demanded that he end his performance early. The students got on stage, took the comedian's microphone, and denounced his jokes in front of the audience, as first reported by the Columbia Spectator. Dude, you, you know when um, I came over here and you were singing that fucking song? Uh, I always feel like somebody's watching you're like, me. But now it's like, I always feel like... Nobody's watching me. I mean, these students are up. Like, they invite this guy. He starts saying some shit they might not like. And then it's all like they got whipped into a frenzy. Like, no, it's our moment now. We invited you here. But like the inhospitable fucking pieces of shit we are. Now we're going to kick you out. So here's what happened. The event was called Culture Shock Reclaim. A charity performance showcase hosted by the university's Asian American uh, Alliance. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It was a charity show? Yep. The goal of the <laughs> event was to provide a platform for diversity of Asian American artistic expression, as well as seeking <laughs> to break. Yeah, isn't that great? Oh. Come here. Hey, you're a famous Asian comedian who's made it. Come. Come and celebrate Asian American expression with us. You're offensive. Get out Halfway of here. Through. You're disgusting! Get out! <laughs> Get out! You <laughs> sick of us! I don't know, man. Have they I, watched I, his comedy before they invited <laughs> him? I guess not. According to Columbia Spectator, uh, the Columbia Spectator, members of the student group found Patel's skit offensive, specifically when the comedian joked that being gay cannot be a choice, adding that if a man is both black and gay... No one looks in the mirror and thinks, this black thing is too easy. Let me add another thing to it. That's what offended them. What? That's what pushed them over the edge. A wow. joke that should be right up their alley. I mean, literally, wow. like, right up their fucking alley. Yeah, because all it, the only thing that... The, the supposition of the joke is His life black people hard. have it hard and gay people have it hard, both of which they agree with. So what's the fucking problem yeah, I don't with know. the fucking joke? I can understand it was like the reverse, like, oh, his life's going to be on easy street now. I got to tell you, I cannot wave. I, I cannot wait until the next wave of kids comes up behind this one and crushes this shit. Like, rebels against it completely, is sick of the language policing and the fucking offended hurt fifis all the time and shit. And we've got a new renaissance of... George Carlin, Bill Hicks esque fucking <coughs> comedians that push the boundaries. We get another Lenny Bruce. Yeah, comedy well, gets to be funny Richard and Breyer. offensive well, and dude, boundary boun- pushing again. Can you imagine the how glorious have that day is going to be? So much now, Paul. It's like comedians can't even go to college campuses now. They just can't even handle it. All right, check this out. We deeply apologize. This is their statement. We deeply apologize for inviting. I'm sorry, Patel. Uh, you're speaking too late. Don't you mean that? I, we deeply apologize. No, Scotty. Oh, no. We deeply apologize for inviting Patel in the first place and bringing these comments into a space for inclusion and acceptance. (laughs) We apologize for the hurt his words caused members of the community. Jesus. The student group added that members were still processing what happened. Oh, (laughs) oh, my (laughs) Dude, this generation Still of people, they're happened? going to just, they're just going to wither and keel over and die when a fucking heavy breeze confronts them. I think calling them pussies is insulting to women. I think calling them pussies like, is insulting women. to pussy. Yeah. Yeah. And I like pussy, too. It's like, what do you call, like, I don't like SJW because it doesn't really illustrate the depths of depravity that it takes to be a person that goes to a comedy show and hears a joke that's literally tailor-made for them and slight, maybe slightly not packaged right. I guess the etymology... And they have to process it? Yeah. I guess the etymology of pussy, by the way, actually has nothing to do with vaginas. It's actually like short for pusillanimous. Oh. 
Okay, uh, well, that's good. How about we just start <laughs> calling them pusillanimous then? Maybe we should. Um, so uh, here's what um, a student said. I was very surprised. Either that means I'm not as sensitive as I should be or the whole thing was just dramatic, said one student. Not all students felt the same way, though. I'm not having the correct reaction that the group is having. I really dislike when people who are older say that our generation needs to be exposed to the real world, said another student, Sophia Zhao. Of the to the Columbia Spectator, obviously the world is not a safe space, but just accepting that it's not and continuing to perpetuate the unsafeness of it is saying it can't be. Ch- There's nothing unsafe about a comedian making a joke, which, by the way, the joke in question is one that supports your point of view. Like, how do you not see that, dude? You know what the reality of this is? Is this is the only space these people feel this important because it's like what they're saying is that my God, in the real world. No one seems to care. No one seems to listen. But on our nice little echo chamber at university here, when we're in our fucking group meetings at our $50,000 a year school, everyone agrees that this is really important. What are the chances they invited this guy just to do this to him? I think they, I think they invited him. Look, they're a bunch of racists. They invited him based on his name and the way he looks. And they probably had no idea he was going to say this kind of shit. And the minute he did, it was like, and the, and, and the people that matter in the group were offended, then suddenly it's like, you have to leave. We're taking this back from you. You have to go. I want to know what kind of jokes would be acceptable to these people. I want to see a comedy routine written by the people who kicked if him so, off stage. Well, here's the thing. If so, I want to know the kind of humor that tickles these motherfuckers funny fun of white bones. people. Yeah. If, but no, but here's the thing. If a bunch of white people stormed on stage, like sort of conservatives, and said like, no, don't talk about gays, boo boo. These people be like, don't deplatform this person. How dare you trying to deplatform and stop us? When they do it, it's like, well, people are processing things and we're sorry. And I just, this is an inclusive space. It's like, you, is... you just wouldn't deplatform the guy you invited, you fucking morons. The people of color you so deeply care about that you easily deplatform. Yeah. When they made one the event joke. S- at the event to celebrate his freedom of expression and. What a bunch of fucking blanket hypocrites are just so unaware. I just wish that we could follow one of these true believer SJW chicks through college, kind of in a like documentary Truman Show style. Because I would love to see the episode when she first steps off that campus into the real world and has to get a job at a place that doesn't fucking make its time around her feelings and emotions and shit. And when the realization comes to her that she's been filling her head with a bunch of fucking self-congratulatory circular nonsense that isn't applied at any level of our society outside of the university. 